Hi, I'm Dustin Mason from Performance Lexus in St. Catharines. And today I'm here with one of the coolest customized Lexuses probably in North America, a Lexus ISF that's been totally redone. In this video, I'm gonna go over some of the things that made the ISF so rare and so highly desirable right now in the marketplace. And also some of the coolest little nuances that this one beside me has done by its owner. Which by the way, big shout out to Bilal for giving us his ISF for this video and uh, doing such a great job on the customization. So getting right into things here, you'll notice the front end has a ton of customization done to it. One being these really cool retrofitted headlights. So you can see it has the new Lexus daytime running light above the triple LED headlight, which is a night and day difference from what this car came factory in 2008. Also at the bottom of the bumper, we have some novel carbon fiber mounted to that bottom front bumper. And to me, it really adds that level of GT car or you know, sports car type additive. And I think if they redid this car for 2023, 2024, it would probably have some carbon bits like that. We also have this nice spindle grill. Again, it kind of reminds me of the new Lexus spindle grill with the Lexus emblem in the center. And interesting enough, I don't know what it is. It has like these little lines behind the Lexus emblem that just reminds me of, I don't know, little fins or little canards or something like that. I'm not sure that's on purpose, but it's there. Also, we have some more carbon fiber sort of insert by this fog light, which looks to be a nice LED, probably a switchback LED knowing Bilal. And then we have those big air intakes going into that bumper to cool off the tires and cool off the brakes. Something you can't see, however, from where you're sitting, is the paint. This is a custom paint job. It's not a Lexus color at all. And in the showroom here, it looks like it's just white. However, once you get it in the sunlight, you can see some really nice purple blue undertones. And the only way I can describe this paint is, you know when you see like a glare on glass or your TV screen or whatever it is, when glare hits this paint, that's when that undertone comes out, which I thought was really cool. Obviously the owner picked that on purpose because it's so cool. The next part of this car is the side profile. And there's a lot to go over here. One of them just being, if you take a look at it, this is where you can really tell it's not just normal IS. And in fact, the ISF, when it first came out, it wasn't supposed to be just a beefed up IS. It was supposed to be something way more than that. Okay, so getting to the side profile of the ISF, and in particular, this ISF, there's a lot to go over here. One is the shape of it. Like when you look down the side, you can really see that this isn't just an IS with a V8. This is a totally different beast. It's not subtle in any way. It's like a wide body IS. And you can really see that in the fender flares and the fin at the front. But with this particular build, even the fitment of these custom work wheels, by the way, is totally flush with the body. It doesn't look like it's a show car that just sits pretty in a driveway most of the time or in a showroom floor. It looks like you can drive it, which is exactly what I look for in any type of custom car. So we have these custom work wheels. There's a little bit of a two-tone to it. And I think it goes very well with the F brake caliper. And that's another subtle reminder that this isn't just an IS. The reason I, I like that F big brake caliper being in orange is it reminds me of the GSF when the GSF came out. I'll never forget seeing a blue, like the ultrasonic blue GSF with that orange brake caliper. Just shows you that it's something different that we're talking about here. Speaking of something different that we're talking about here is the F badge. I thought he was crazy for doing this, but I'm so happy he did. This is titanium. When you look at it up close, it's very raw type metal and it has the blue shading from grinding and overheating and, and welding and cutting and all of those things. And in my opinion, that blue ties in very nicely with that blue undertone of the glare when the sun or the light hits this paint. These F badges are all over the car and I think there's such a nice touch that uh, many people will walk by in the, the parking lot and maybe not notice, but when you do, it's absolutely gorgeous. From there, we have the F front venting on that little quarter panel there and then that ties into the factory lip that goes to the back. Now, you'll notice the height of the car because it is lowered on some nice coilover springs. And that's why the height is the way it is, but 
super drivable, very responsive suspension. Now on to the back. So at the back of this ISF, we have some beautiful amenities, I'm gonna call them. And I love when a fast car has a great back end because that's what you're gonna see when you're driving behind it. So up top, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, we have a walled spoiler. I like it because on the side profile, you can see that it just sort of comes up a little bit, but from the back, when you're looking straight on, it doesn't even look like there's a spoiler. It just looks like the trunk itself is that shape. And it kind of reminds me of my Supra. There's like a little lip that's just factory built into the hatch on that one. Uh, or the trunk on this one, and that's what it looks like. It looks really factory, so I love that. You'll notice even this Lexus emblem is that titanium with that brushed steel look. Actually, it even feels brushed, and even like the edges and stuff like that, they're super sharp and, and raw, and it looks like someone in a fabrication shop built it, and I love that. The taillight, you'll notice, does not look like a 2008 IS taillight. This is the new style of taillight for the IS in 2024 and 2023. So it has that L shape that goes all the way across to the other one. So really, really good job customizing that. And below that, we'll even see the Lexus phrase here, the Lexus word here in that same metal material, same with the ISF. At the bottom, we have a carbon fiber, novel racing, huge diffuser. Now it sticks out quite a bit from the back bumper, but it looks really good. It seems to be really durable. I think it's a really nice accent, especially with the white. And then we have a Borla catback exhaust with the quad tips. And I think it's a RR Racing exhaust quad tips. Now the original ISF had this exact angle of stacked exhaust. And in fact, that was what really made it stick out when you were driving behind one and you knew that it wasn't just an IS350, it was an ISF because of those quad exhausts. And that was always really this characteristic that everybody knew and love about it. With this custom exhaust setup, we were able, we, he, not me, was able to retain that look. And the bodywork kind of still wraps around it, which is really nice. The bumper isn't just chopped off. If you just zoom out and look at the back of an ISF, again, you can see that really wide body to it. And these little additions that the current owner put on it, just in my opinion, adds to it. So sitting in this custom ISF, we have this really nice light interior. And really the only thing changed in the interior is this custom steering wheel. I really like the shape. It grabs your hands very nicely. There's carbon fiber on the top and it ties in nicely with the carbon fiber that's throughout the cabin. Now in 2008, Lexus wasn't known very well for being a leading edge in technology. So we have the older screen, but it works. It's quick to use. There's actual physical buttons. It's touchscreen. There's a volume and two knob, some couple different drive modes, heated, uh, not cooled seats, just heated seats. It just does what it needs to do, I guess you could say. There is some custom little ISF carpets and stuff like that, some Alcantara on headliner, but for the most part, it's just the interior of a sports car. Now I do notice he has the newer gauge cluster from like a 2013 in here where it's got the big RPM gauge and then to the right, there's like a small little speed gauge that goes up to 320 kilometers an hour, by the way, and also has a little digital digital readout of that. So overall, great interior, does what it needs to do. It's not over the top. Fun fact though, the paddle shifts on this. Back in 2008, people called them fake paddles. It was kind of like you're just tricking the transmission. But back when the ISF came out in 2008, you could shift quicker than any other car in the market at that time using the paddles. So it was like really the first true paddle shift car and then we saw that sort of translate and all these other brands really passed the ISF at that time. But back then the shifts were hard and fast and you could use them on the paddles. Also the shift knob has the F logo on it, which I think is pretty cool. The most important thing about this interior is this. So why as we get into the model year of 2024, are ISFs still so highly desirable? I just checked before making this video and on Auto Trader right now in Toronto, there's a 2008 for sale for like $44,000. And that number has just kept going up and up over the last five years. What I think is here's a five liter V8 rear wheel drive that's so raw you can light up the tires and throw the car sideways and there's no electronics stopping you and all these traction controls and all this stuff that are preventing you from having any fun, especially with this powertrain and transmission and those paddle shifters and the fact that it's a true F car. In fact, in 2008, this was the beginning 
of some true F cars. This was years before the RCF, the GSF came out. I mean, we had the LFA back then, but that was so out of reach for most people that the ISF was truly the best Lexus you could get for an enthusiast. It was, the, it was the top, it was the cream of the crop. In 2024, as we're getting into EVs and hybrids and all these other things, it's a dying breed. So if you are a Lexus fan or a car enthusiast, I would get your hands on one of these while you still can. And with this custom build and all these nice appointments that Bilal has done a great job on, there's not gonna be a ton of these like this out there. And I mean, just listen to that V8. That'll give you enough of a reason why they're still selling for so much and so highly desirable in 2024. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Dustin Mason from Performance Lexus in St. Catharines. If you liked this style of video, let me know in the comments below. If you liked Blow's ISF, let me know. And if there's any other cars you think I should do like this, please let me know. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.